Hello, I'm Nathan Judah. I'm here with the legend himself. It is Mr. Steve Ball. Steve, now we're in Shea Ball today. Very, very lucky, very privileged. Steve, I mean, not, not, <laughs> not, not a bad background this is, by the way. Talk, talk me not, through it. It's not. There's only two, four, six, eight, ten, fourteen 14 cups there. Wow. Uh, but I think one was for one competition, and the other it was for the uh, England B. Uh, under 21s and uh, the first team is all the World Cup one for the first for the World Cup. Show me which ones, which ones are which. Which then? ones are World Cup? Well, I couldn't tell you. 1989, 90. It's probably that one there. And then we've got we've got we've got Italian 90 fourth place medal there as well. Fourth place medal there. I've got my shirt there. I mean, there's, 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 there's not many better landings than this, is there? By the way. Okay, wait. Well, we've got plenty of questions in. Okay, are yeah. you ready? Okay. A little bit more like how International break. Yeah. So they've got a bit of a chill. When you when you were playing, did you like international break or do you just want to keep on going? You want to keep going. You yeah. want to keep going, especially uh, as you say, if you if you get the points on the board. Mm. Uh, you want to keep the momentum going and going and going. I think if you're on a bad run, then you can't wait for the break. Yeah. Uh, but uh, international breaks, they're, they're come and go, and it's one of them. We've just got to get on with it. Yeah, of course. And I'm sure there's we'll sort of quite a few that are going to be going away, but is, is it nice to have just maybe a small, small part of the squad just to work on smaller things or not? Yeah, really? no, not really. I think once I've had a break, they have a break, they all separate each other and yeah. come back together. You know what yeah. I mean? And uh, the people who are very fortunate to, to play in, like I said, the World Cup or to play for the country, mm. it's fair play to them. Okay, good stuff. Okay, you ready? Well, I am, yes. All right, yes. This, this is a really serious question to start <laughs> off with, okay? From Stephen Lapper. Who would win at golf? Oh. Steve or Don Goodman? Oh, my word, Don. Me and Don. He likes his golf, doesn't he? Don loves his golf. Mm. He's very competitive as well. Oh, uh, dear. Where me, where me, I just, I just hit the ball. If it goes straight, it goes straight. If it don't, I laugh at myself. Uh, but, are they uh, pretty serious, some of the ex-pros? Because they, they, they think they think they're, you know, they want to be on the tour, don't they? They are, they are, tour. and Don's one of the one of the one of the really serious ones, Don. Is he? Isn't? Uh, we are usually on par, right? Okay. And he always keeps on about me, my handicap, my official handicap. I haven't got an official handicap, and listen, stop, Don. What about Don? If you want to win, so you want to win. Yeah, I'll let exactly. you win. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I hate that though. I hate that. Oh, I'll just let you win. You don't want to hear that, does he? Do you know what I mean? I want you to try. Okay. Um, right. Um, oh, another uh, serious question. What's Steve's favourite favourite curry? What's your favourite curry? My curry, I don't usually eat uh, much curry, I'm usually a Chinese man, mate. Just a Chinese man. If so anything, it would be like uh, probably chicken chicken and prawn bull tea if I was going to have a curry. Yeah. Uh, and uh, otherwise, with the Chinese, you've got to be Singapore chow mein. Singapore, what's that? Singapore noodles. With oh, noodles, what, like, like prawns bit of meat and, and all, all that kind of meat thing. And then curry sauce on the top. Oh, curry sauce on the top? <laughs> Okay, so it's not Chinese, is it? Curry sauce, is it? Yeah. <laughs> so you take it to the fishy and you take it and you put the curry sauce on the top. Curry, that? Okay, excellent. I'm sure the Chinese are lying with that. Um, okay, um, would Steve drop, or Bully, we can't call it Bully, Steve, um, drop Wood Ruddy and give young Will Norris a chance in goal? Not yet. No. Not yet. It's a bit too uh, crucial at the moment. Mm. I think the experience at the back with Ruddy uh, in goal is, is, is a saviour. I think the young lad's got plenty of time in his hands to gain the side next year. Uh, let's just get the job done first, and then once we're up, yeah. we've got about three or four games, then, then bring him in. A few people getting on Ruddy's back a little bit. I mean, yeah. he, he has, he, he's very frustrating, as in like he, he's very good and commanding, and then has got in you know, to go mistake. Yeah. I think the Norwich game, when he let that goal in last seconds, yeah. which was frustrating, but... You know, all in all, he's been okay. He hasn't had a lot to do, though, has he, this season, no, really? No, no, not with the back three. Bit, they've been playing absolutely tremendous. Uh, the only thing he's been doing at the moment, which I'm going to fold the defence and the keeper, uh, is free kicks and set pieces. We are struggling at the moment with them, and I think mm. uh, you need somebody like Ruddy, or even stronger than Ruddy, like a Carlo Kimi, to demand that box and yeah. come out and get the ball. Uh, but uh, but we all we all make mistakes. We all do the odd thing on the pitch that we shouldn't do. And uh, as you say, Ruddy will get through. He's big enough, strong enough, and get through it. Absolutely. I mean, he still he still wants to, to get back into the Premier League mm. and try and try and get back into England. I mean, he is a good goalkeeper, and he's yeah. proved yeah. it many many times again. The analytics these days, as well, at Wolves and, and all the science people and the staff, I mean, they're watching mm. replays and clips at half time full time yeah. they know exactly where they're going wrong don't they they know, they know and, and, they, and they keep it uh, Rudy will know as well himself you know what I mean he knows what he's got to do to, to get up there and if he does want to play for England he's got to pull his finger out yeah and uh, he's got to get back to the old John Rudy that, that, that we knew before mm, absolutely okay Nathan Hales do you think we should have gone for and got a top striker in January to make sure promotion we are creating loads of chances but not finishing them Oh, the fresh faces, new faces. I mean, oh, Phobos is not bad, is he? Oh, I mean, he's not bad. And oh, no, oh, no, when he scored that one the other week, you thought, yeah. well, why do you need another one? Yeah. Uh, but uh, it's always nice to have fresh faces. Mm. It's always nice to have fresh faces. And uh, the club must have thought they'd go enough in the, in the, uh, in the changing room yeah. for us to get up there. 
to me, if they have the chances, it's down to the individual players. Mm. You know what I mean? They've got to be mm. more, like we said before, get the killer touch, the ruthlessness issue sure. to goal. And it's only as though they like a bit, oh, we've got to tap it in. Yeah. Oh, they've got to get the hunger back. And uh, as you say, yeah, I would love to see another, another, another striker come in in January, but we're not like the way we are, I think. And, and, and also, in January, there's not a lot to choose from, is there? You think yeah. when the summer comes by and then you've got the World Cup, yeah. that's when a lot of players are either out of contract or they, yeah. might, they might be available in January. You have to pay a premium and they yeah. might not be what you want in the Premier League. They might get you yeah. Of the line in the championship, but if they're on a three, four, five year deal, which they'll yeah. want to sign, mm. it's not as easy as that, is it's it? It's not as easy as that now, no, and uh, that's why they're doing it right at the moment with all loanees mm -hmm. uh, because they can have a look at them like it. It's like a shop window, yeah. Put on the pitch, how long are you on four, six months, 12 months? We'll see how they're going. If they, if they do it, we'll sign them. If they don't, they don't. And, and then uh, they want to work hard to get that contract, they obviously, get that getting the, the best contract. of them. It's yeah. a win win, yeah. It is, yeah. It is, it is. And uh, the players there at the moment, there are quite a few on loan, and, and I know they'll want to stop the club, absolutely. Okay, good stuff. Um, Chris Wood, oh, this is deep, this is deep. Are you ready? <laughs> if you could go back in time and tell yourself one thing, what would it be? Oh, my word. I know, I know. I don't, we, I don't okay. tell you questions before. So tell me one point. thing. I think uh, the one thing I'd probably tell myself is actually not to sign for the album. Really? <laughs> No, I can't. I can't. I can't. Oh, I'm sorry, okay. You can. That's you brilliant. can. You can. That's brilliant. Uh, no, there's nothing. There's nothing. I think uh, we all do. Silly hey, you, you get a game for them at the moment. I tell you. Well, no, yeah. I know, yeah. I'm struggling at the moment on that. But uh, no, that's a funny question that one is. But uh, you know, I don't think there's anything I'd uh, go back and no, change no or say nothing at all. Uh, no. as what I've done for, for my career. Uh, doesn't need to do anything, does he? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Maybe just a late, late tackle on okay. Lineker. I've had a few more than me. I know. Okay, uh, Lee Hadzel. Um, where, where does Bully store his sauces? Does he keep the mayo in the fridge or in the cupboard? That's a disgrace. <laughs> I don't eat. I don't eat mayonnaise. No, you're not a mayonnaise fan, no, no. no. My wife does. But it's in the fridge. In the fridge. In the fridge. Cool. In the fridge. Cool. God, I do have a few with a little chip now and again. I have okay, a little yeah, yeah. dip in there's, there's a Belgium thing, I think, in it where they put is mayonnaise it? and chips. But I'm not. I'm not really mayo no. fan either. To no. be fair. No. Curry sauce though, yeah. That's it. Curry sauce. Or brown sauce. Curry sauce on what? <laughs> Singapore chow mein. <laughs> oh, don't. Okay. Don't get hungry. <laughs> Govinda Dalliwell. Um, how many points do you predict we'll get in our remaining games? Okay, so we've got uh, a little 11 left. 11 mm. left. Well, nine left now. 11, 20, 33, nine left, nine left, nine, 27. I would say you get, we're, we're going to predict about another 14 points. Yeah. Me personally. And they don't, they don't need to win even half no. of them, do they? No, no. They need to win body, win the next four. Yeah. No. up. Yeah. That's it, full stop. Seriously, win the next four. You look to Middlesbrough though, that's fine, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I can live with that. That's fine, that's fine. I'll have the we'll three let you have that one. We need it more than you guys anyway. Yeah. yeah. Okay, um, oh, are there questions here, by the way? <laughs> I like it, I like it. If there was ever a Steve Ball movie, who would you want to play you? Who, who would want to play me? Yeah. Oh my yeah. word. Who are, you, who are your peaks? Oscar Jeez. season just finished now. Oh, if, 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 if. I could turn back the clock. You yeah. could have something like uh, Sylvester Stallone or something oh, like that. Oh, really? Something like that, yeah. Or Dolph Lundgren, something like that. Oh. Big skinhead, whatever. Yeah, yeah, something yeah. Like, yeah. Something like that. Sigh. Are you <laughs> favourite favorite Rocky? Oh, I ain't really got a favourite. I've watched them all. And the Rambos and all the other stuff and whatever. I don't uh, think I've ever watched Rambo or Rocky, I'll be no. honest. Is that bad? The, no, no. They are... They are Blokes movies. Oh, that, like, okay. It's one of them where just... You've seen my dog, I mean, Easy come on. movies, easy come movies. Come on, I'm on my little pony base, you know. <laughs> <I don't> know. <laughs> right. Barbie um, and Ken, you'll be watching. Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely, like absolutely. <laughs> I, I, I had a Mendes mask on, looked a little bit like Ken, a little bit of Kenny's tan, he likes a bed, doesn't he? He's our George. Likes a tanning bed. What's, uh, that What's that got to do with your dog? Well, I'm just saying, you know, <laughs> Barbie Ken, all that kind of thing. Um. Maybe was he, yeah, okay, I don't know, okay. Yeah, I am glove. Um, what would you tell Leo to help him get past his goalless blues? Leo. What's uh, happened, man? I'd love to, I'd love to. Take him for the session, I would, to be fair. Mm. I'd love to take him for the session in front of goal. On the pitch, not, turn not, sharp, not, not, not turn round, sharp, around the it. bars. No, okay. no, on the pitch. Okay. On the pitch. I would love to say to him, come here, this, get here, don't turn it, turn it, instead of turn, losing it. He's, he's just lost that bit of um, jest, zest or whatever it is in front of goal. I mean, like the sharpness. Because he was holding it up, yeah. passing up, but then he was, he was away yeah. straight away. He was away, and it yeah, just yeah. seems... No, he's a bit more lethargic, if you know what I mean. So he's got to pick, he's just got to pick himself up. Did you ever, I mean, you must have gone through a few <coughs> droughts, you know, in your career and stuff like that. What, what do you do to, to get you out of it? Because it must be difficult for a strike, because that's what you yeah. judge by, his goals, end of the day. You try too hard, to be fair. Right. You do try too hard, and uh, you could see it in your foul You can see it in Bolotini. You can see that trying too hard. Mm. They need to just relax and play their own game and get okay. sharp, get sharp in front of goal. Okay, good stuff. Um, Rob Morris, are you concerned that the players have become complacent in recent weeks? Um, are we lacking a plan B? 
No, well, we've, we've said this before, haven't we? Everybody would love to have a plan B. I think Nuno's got one up his sleeve, but I think he's waiting until the time's right to use it. Uh, you know, I think uh, you know, we've had a couple of games where we have actually need to change the side altogether. Mm-hmm. Uh, but then the week after, that surprised us again with a, a miraculous performance and a win. Yeah. So, you know what I mean? I think uh, just, just stick with them at the moment. Stick with the plan A, like we said before, at the moment. You know I mean, maybe change a couple, like we said, if I will be, and uh, put Bennett back in again, and then we'll take it from there. That's it now. Finished. Done. Is that it? Done. No. Where's that plan B? I don't know. We'll, we'll, <laughs> we'll discuss it down the pub. Uh, international week then, sir. So, so yep. chilled, chilled, relax now. Yes, chilled now for yourself and myself now. So, I'm, I'm, uh, going, I'm going away, bully. I need, oh, yeah. I, need, I, need, I need some days in the sun. I need to get away from you. I've had enough. Okay. Girl. This is six weeks of this. You know what I mean? Well, I, need to get, uh, I need to get a job like yours, don't I? <laughs> Recharge. <Yeah. laughs> Expenses are outrageous. Unbelievable. <laughs> right, week seven. Luke Hatfield will be replacing me as I shall hopefully be, you know tanning and on a beach somewhere with Mr Mendes that's fine nice. no is it all no is it all uh, all the build up for Middlesbrough which you know is going to be a difficult game it will be a difficult game but hopefully by then we've got uh, quite a few more points in the bag yeah, so we crossed. won't need them and you will ok 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 <laughs> for the latest news make sure you log on to expressandstar.com hashtag ask boy.